hello and welcome guys hope you are doing well so today we'll be discussing around a local plugin through which you will try adding a link here inside course okay inside any course i can add the link here so you'll be try adding that so for that first of all you will have to create a local plugin in case you don't want to uh, disturb your model core code and that is again the best practice is that you don't need to make any correction yeah any modification inside the model core code so how you you can do that yes you can do this by using a local plugin and there are multiple way but local plugin is the one you can do it so yes for to deal with this uh, feature or the use case you can say i have created a local plugin with the name user transcript and you only require the lib file so the lib.php must have inside that local plugin and version is the required that will come up, up come up with your uh, local plugin and again the lang is just a normal directory and inside this you will find the en and then again it's normal lang file so this is basically the main file and you can see one more file here create transcript this is basically this is the file i will try adding adding here as a link okay so let's get started so if you see here the code i have already done the code because it will take more time to come up with the output so that you will have the already ready made that's why i have created already if i come here on the code let me make it a zoom here so this one is the name of my plugin so local user transcript this is the name of my plugin so my plugin name is user transcript but it's local types that's why the full name of my plugin is this so your full name of local plugin underscore extended navigation course so if once you try this and with the navigation parameter you will have the option you can add items into the navigation okay so for adding the navigation you can use here the global variable page you can also use here the user variable you can also use here the cfg global variable so whichever requ required you can also use the db here okay so you can use this you can use here the full code or logic as per your business need now coming to this code so i have to add a link okay name name is coming from my language file and in my case that is local user transcript you can see here what the name is coming and the name is coming uh, user transcript okay so user transcript is the name got it so now the first parameter will be the what the string will be visible on the screen the second parameter will be that is the required where you want to send uh, once the, anyone click on that particular link then with this link you can send the parameter variables suppose here there is only one so i am sending the course id in case you want to send the current user you can also do this like this Sorry, user id okay so with this link your id in which the course current course id will be sent and the current login user id will be sent so here you can put the name here there are lots of settings you can use this okay so i type settings now if i refresh here and th that will go inside more so if you come here inside any course that is available inside your system you will have this option okay so user transcript you can say you in the parameter you can also see the id is 5 and user is 3 why user is 3 because 
three is my current login user and I have passed that. You can see here the three. Got it? So now come coming to create a new course and see whether it is also appearing or, or only coming for the older. Yes, it will be also appearing for the new courses. Okay, and let's see new course one, new course two. Yes, it is created now. And here under more, you will find user transcript. Got it? In case you want more, you want to add one more link there, you can also do that. Okay, so you can change the name. Yeah, you can change the name here. Okay, so now name will be appearing this one export user transcript. So once I refresh this, I can see this user transcript, then export to your transcript. Got it? Now you can see the ID is different now. Six. Why? Because that is my course ID. And if I click on this, the ID is five, course ID is five. I can see five as a course ID in both cases. Okay? Anywhere else. So this is how you can you can override your sorry not override you can say you can add more link inside a course under more tab so this is the one way you can add and this is again not you are not making any changes or modification in your model core code you are doing this with the help of local plugin okay so hopefully you will get the idea and you will try this in case your business need is coming around this and yes you will also find the code link uh, git code link inside the video description and hopefully it will be working in your case thank you thank you for watching and have a great day ahead